I'm at the Cairn Lodge in Wade's Road in Kinochleven. And quite nearby the Cairn Path is an ancient path that links the village to Cairn, a water and an ancient stopping place up in the hills. But that's not an obvious connection to St Cairn. So who was St Cairn? I'm back in the church now. We're probably talking about St. Kieran the Younger. There was an older saint, an earlier saint of that name. St. Kieran the Younger is one of the twelve apostles of Ireland. He was born around the year 512 AD. His father was a carpenter. His maternal grandfather was a bard. In his early life he would become a herdsman and then a monk. He died at the age of 33, so there are strange coincidences to the life of our Lord. In his life as a monk, he would spend time in the Arran Islands in Ireland, and then he came to Scotland, where he preached in various places and founded a monastic settlement near Campbelltown. He became highly revered throughout Kintyre and in other places in the West, partly because of the high esteem in which he was held by Columba. Returning to Ireland, he, he founded a monastery, an important monastery in Clunkmacknoise in Connacht. Seven months later, he was carried away by a deadly plague which took him and several others there with him. There are accounts of his life as a monk in which he prayed during days of famine for the monks that they would be supplied with grain and grain was miraculously granted. In the gospel reading for his feast day in September Jesus defended his disciples who had plucked ears of corn from cornfields on the Sabbath. Have you not heard what David did when he was hungry? Jesus said to his critics and he added the Son of Man is Lord of the Sabbath. In these days of community lockdown, of difficulty, of staying at home, it is hard for people. And it's important that people have adequate food in their homes to eat. It's good, therefore, that there is community resilience to help meet the needs where required. Give us this day our daily bread. Jesus is Lord. He has power. All authority is given unto him. He knows about us. He cares about our daily necessities. He has power to meet all our needs. So let us trust him. Give us this day our daily bread.